Diane Karasisi is an amazing leader. She's a person of integrity, of heart, of passion, who not only loves Rwanda, but is a Pan-African. She's made an incredible transformational difference as the Chief Executive of Bank of Kigali. As Chairman of the Board, it's been my great pleasure and honor to work closely with Diane in increasing our exposure to the agricultural sector, in providing mortgages and loans to business people and entrepreneurs and young people to help build their lives and start their careers. Diane is a remarkable individual who is always making a difference in the lives of people. I'm thrilled to be able to join this tribute to her in recognition of her amazing work for Rwanda, for Africa, and for financially transforming people's lives. Uh, when I first met her, it was uh, maybe f uh, four years ago um, when I was looking to start a robotics camp in Rwanda. Um, and you know, the bank supported it wholeheartedly when you know, other business leaders uh, were skeptical or didn't understand the value, but um, I don't know what it was. Something clicked with her. She got it immediately. You know, this is somebody who uh, sees um, the value in things where many other people don't. Um, she's one of the least complacent leaders I know. Uh, she's always living on the edge, looking for the next thing, next achievement, trying to push things forward. Uh, she sees it as a mission here, and I think it's quite impressive. Um, she has a high degree of integrity, um, and she also has a very high risk tolerance, which is quite unusual for leaders in her position at such a large bank. Uh, you know, as a result, you know, uh, the bank has grown in leaps, leaps and bounds in the last um, last several years. Uh, you know, tenfold in terms of assets and business. Uh, it's grown alongside the country, and BK has been a partner in that growth. Um, you know, she she also demonstrates. Uh, a huge breadth, impressively wide breadth of, of knowledge across different uh, types of work done at the bank, business and finance, and most surprisingly, technology. Um, she's extraordinarily hands-on as well. She gets involved uh, in many different projects. Um, she's always able to, uh, you know, carry along and, uh, and also provide leadership, and, and I find that very impressive. Um, she's a fearless leader, and uh, you know, the bank and the country is very lucky to have uh, Diane Karusisi. Um, I'm very pleased to talk about uh, Diane Karusisi because I've known her for a long time, maybe more than a decade now. But the, the first time that I set my eyes on uh, Diane Karusisi is about maybe 12 years ago. And Diane was one of the recipients of uh, the awards that were being given by the First Lady of Rwanda. And these awards recognize Rwanda's youth wherever they were in the world and for the outstanding work or outstanding contributions they had made in their societies. And uh, Diane was one of the girls that were being awarded at the time. And uh, I remember what struck me about her is uh, her story and why she was being recognized by the First Lady of Rwanda. And the story was um, around um, her academic accomplishment. Diane was living in Switzerland at the time and working for a bank in Switzerland. However, uh, she had had a very tremendous record academically. She had just completed her PhD in econometrics and she had attained a degree excellence that had not been achieved for decades. So you can imagine a Rwandan who relocates and studies in Switzerland, going there, doing a PhD in a very um, um, complicated area like econometrics, not many girls do mathematics or economics at that level, and then excelling and getting a degree that no one had gotten for many, many years in Switzerland. I think that was uh, very uh, outstanding. And, and that's the first time, or the first impression that Diane uh, made in me when I saw her receiving that award because I was part of the people that were participating in that um, uh, ceremony. But years later, I got to know uh, Diane a bit more, uh, especially as a colleague. Diane left Switzerland and joined us here in Rwanda in many different capacities. And because I have worked for the government of Rwanda for many years as well, I interacted with Diane in all the capacities that she's worked in ever since she returned to Rwanda. And I can say those are about four categories. The first one is uh, Diane came to the statistics office in Rwanda. With her PhD in econometric um, background, uh, she was able to really bring 
a lot of value and expertise to support the setting up of the Rwanda Statistics Office. Today, um, when you talk to the IMF or World Bank and many other organizations, Rwanda's uh, Statistics Office is one of those that is relied upon uh, as um, those that actually give accurate data. And really, um, uh, when our, our Statistics Office gives a data point, it's trusted because it's done well with professionals and the structures and systems are working well. And Diane played a key role uh, in that. The second category that I have known Diane is when she left that, she joined the President's Office and she was the head of strategy and policy. And again, overseeing government work, and she did an excellent job also working with the rest of the stakeholders, including the Rwanda Development Board, where I was um, at the time and still uh, is today. And uh, after that, Diane uh, moved to the Bank of Kigali, where she's the CEO, and being uh, running the biggest bank in Rwanda, and uh, being in charge of the private sector of Rwanda, which is what we do at the Rwanda Development Board, I interact with Diane very, very closely. Uh, we you know, recommend investors to get uh, funding from Bank of Kigali. We go for road shows with Bank of Kigali. We follow up um, sometimes when business, that businesses are not doing well and paying their loans, we come in to help to find solutions. So we work a lot uh, very closely with Bank of Kigali in that sense and many other institutions as well. But something also closer to my heart perhaps is that Diane sits on my board. She's one of the, board of the, one of the members of the board uh, of directors of our Rwanda Development Board. And so we uh, very much um, um, benefited from her advice, her counsel, her vision in supporting our work, which is to transform Rwanda um, as a, a, a middle class income economy by bringing in more uh, private sector participation. And her advice, her experience in supporting the RDB, the Rwanda Development Board, has been invaluable. Now, um, in all those different capacities, what strikes me about Diane Karusisi? One, the one thing that I'll never forget about Diane is that I think she's the most punctual person that I know. Diane keeps time. If you have a meeting with Diane, be sure she'll be there 10 minutes before the appointed time. And I always come in rushing, just, you know, barely on time. And I always find she'll settle there many minutes before. It's not just about being punctual. I think that speaks a lot about her. She's very organized. She plans ahead. Um, she's able to really make sure that whatever she wants to do, she fits in uh, within what she has planned to achieve. And I think a leader who can uh, plan, a leader who can um, uh, organize herself, herself to achieve, is a leader who actually achieves results. And it's no surprise that Bank of Kigali continues to be a stronger number one on the market when it comes to the financial sector. Uh, but the other thing that I also know about Diane is that uh, she's a multiplier. Uh, she multiplies talent, she multiplies people, but she also multiplies the business. A lot of people that have worked under Diane will tell you how she empowers them, she grows them, and she wants them to be multiplied in terms of what they can do, their skills, but also what their output is. And um, if you look at Bank of Kigali today, they're always posting millions and millions of dollars that they get in profit. But it's not just about the profit or the money they make for the bank. But also, Diane has multiplied the bank by bringing in different subsidiaries. We have, you know, uh, Bank of Kigali now in insurance. They're now in um, investment banking. They have Becker Capital. Uh, they have uh, Becker Tech, which is now a, a, a digital technology subsidiary. So being able to grow the bank just from not just doing finance um, work, but also these new subsidiaries, I think, just confirms what a multiplier uh, that Diane is. But I also know that Diane is, has a very strong work, work, work ethic, very hardworking. Um, she would put in everything. I remember, um, I, I remember she was actually the, the first person who made me interested in blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. And who would think that a banker would be in, uh, among the first people to really uh, understand or even learn or even get interested in blockchain technology. But I remember when Diane had just been appointed Bank of Kigali CEO, she called us for dinner together with a few people like the central bank governor and said, look, there's this thing called blockchain technology. Can we understand it? Can we break it down and see how relevant it can be for Rwanda? And so she's an innovative leader, but also one who does not fear to, you know, understand difficult things and, and learn them and see how those difficult things can actually be used in a useful way uh, to promote the businesses. And maybe the last thing that I would also talk about, Diane, is um, she's very down to earth. Uh, she's humble, simple, and yet uh, uh, very firm in, about, in what she believes in and what she stands for. Diane talks to everybody in a very respectable and res respectful way. 
Uh, she'll talk to staff skills and, and really connect with them because she's a very humble and down-to-earth person. But at the same time, she's very firm about her values. When Diana is in a meeting and she believes in something, even if she disagrees, she will do it in a firm way, but a very respectable way. And I think that speaks to her, her work ethic, her, her ethics, her integrity, her character, which are very strong and, and which also promotes teamwork and promotes working with other people. And so when I think about Diana and, and, and being a prospect for winning this award, I absolutely, without any reservation, I hope that Diane can win this award. And if we had 10 Dianes on the continent uh, doing the same work in the financial sector, I truly believe that Africa's integration, which is something we all desire, would be fueled and would be achieved much faster because the financial sector is the one sector that can really support the growth of businesses across borders because they can fund, they can invest in uh, businesses that can actually achieve the Africa integration that we want through the Africa continental free trade area. So if we had more Dianes um, uh, around the continent, we would achieve Africa's integration much faster. So Diane, congratulations in advance and uh, very you know, best wishes for me. Bank of Kigali, financially transforming lives.